We are here now with one of this season's favorite Bachelorette contestants ever, Peter Krause. And so many were rooting for Peter to win Rachel's Heart. Uh, you see a lot of people screaming in the background. But sadly, he was sent home in the season finale. But we're going to take a look at their final conversation before the big breakup. I don't feel that I'm ready to ask you to marry me tomorrow. But I don't want to stop being with you. And yes, it's an it's all, all moment, right? Oh. But Bachelor Nation still loves Peter, and it's great to have you here, my friend. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us this morning. Oh, man. During the live show the other day, you were crying backstage before you came out and, you, and had a chance to talk to Rachel. So what was going through your mind at that moment? Uh, so I hadn't seen that segment since I actually was there myself. Uh, it was first time being back in those emotions, and it was hard. I, I knew I was watching this woman be hurt, and I was watching myself be hurt, and I was going to go have to face her for the first time since then. So there's a lot of emotion. And after you faced her live in front of everybody at home watching, do you feel like you left with closure? I did. I totally did. Rachel and I had a conversation on stage, and I think, you know, she's in obviously a very happy place. I'm getting to a happy place, and uh, we left on good terms. I think it was okay. And now, now the one thing that stood out is, is the conversation you had, had with, with Rachel earlier in the season, yeah. where you told her, go find someone to have a mediocre life with. Uh, it was an amazing statement, but were you, were you surprised by her reaction to your apology? Because you did step up and apologize for that. Well, first of all, that was stupid of me to say. It was in uh, the heat of the moment. I was very emotional, and I shouldn't have said it, and I was very apologetic for it. And understandably so, she took offense to it. And however she reacted, I had to take it. And it, it is what it is at this point. And, and the other day, you told Chris that you had so much more to say to Rachel. And I don't, you didn't get a chance to really say it. So what would you have said to her? It was the first time in a breakup where after the breakup, there was no conversation. It, it was cold turkey right then and there. I asked if I could reach back out to her the next day just to you know, say my piece if I'm sorry. I, I wish there was something more I could have done. Um, and I wasn't given that opportunity. And so there were still things that I felt like I had to get off my chest and couldn't. And, and she and gets engaged to Brian now. Yep. And I, do you think that she en became engaged to Brian because you said, hey, I'm not ready to propose to you right now, even though I still want to be with you. Do you think she settled? I don't. I don't think she settled. I think she and I had a, a very instant connection on our date. Mm -hmm. But I think she had an amazing connection with Brian as well. It was obvious from the start. And uh, he's a good fit. And they, they seem very happy. And I wish them nothing but. But I, I tell you, man, the reaction for you has been incredible around it here. Happened. Robin Roberts bumped into you in the pantry, <laughs> she and she did. said, that's a whole lot of man in that pantry, Michael. <laughs> and I said, yeah, he's, he's rocking the gap teeth, Robin. Yeah. You know what that means. He's a good man. <laughs> but I, I have something from one of our, our viewers, a Twitter question from one of our viewers. They want you to tell us about your high school yearbook page from 2005, where you said your dream was to be on The Bachelor. I did write that. Uh, so I actually got that message from an old high school friend. Uh, about a week before it came out, and it was a shock to myself as well. Uh, but at the time, I, I had not had a serious girlfriend. I, had, I don't even think I'd kissed a girl at that point. And The Bachelor had just started airing, and this man was like the epitome of what every guy wanted to be. He was successful, intelligent, hardworking. He was known by all and desired by the girls, and I wanted the girls. You so. wanted that. Real quick answer. <laughs> if you're asked, will you be the next Bachelor? I'd have to think a lot about it. I, well, the people have spoken. They want you to be the next bachelor. But thank you for coming in, man. And, and, and good luck if you are asked that question. Thank we hope you. you will accept it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.